Good morning, our first morning in the camper. Good morning. We had breakfast, we wash our teeth here. We also have the toilet. I want to show the, uh, the camper in the, in the first conditions. Look at that. Our amazing camper. We have a big surprise. The big surprise is not Luca, but the big surprise is this guys. Yeah, when you buy a camper, be sure that nothing is rotten. Even if the owner said you that there is no leaking, everything is perfect, check everything. Always remember to take off the bed, the mattress, and look, look under, underneath. under look the underneath. mattress. Look inside, inside the cabins, and here, it's all falling in parts. You can see there, it's all breaking and falling down. Really dangerous as well. We start today rebuilding our camper. Now we are taking off all the things. This is the hover cup area that we will rebuild this morning. We will have a new sleeping room from today on. Let's do it. We were upset and disappointed. Every little penny counts. We had only one choice, making the best of a bad situation. We went back to the couple who sold us the camper and we asked for $500 back and the possibility to fix the damage over cap bed area in their backyard. There is all water. Can you see the water there? Yes. Look at here. Oh, it's completely wet. Completely. There is a leaking somewhere. Yeah. What do you think? I think I will fix up the roof. <laughs> We had to remove and clean all the damage and rotten parts. We bought the tools and the supplies to build a new overcap bed area and we spent just a little more than the refounded amount of 500 US dollars. We took off all the rot thing, we put all the new wood. And we buy a new sheet of, of here. Yeah, we have two of them, one will be here and that, uh, that one will be there. Today we will be, Sarah will be painting, painting the roof. I will be putting the insulation in here, so then we can close everything.
day number three. It's not magic, it's reality. Left. Fix it! This is fix it and sleeping room is almost finished. Just in 24 hours. Master Luca and assistant Sarah. Actually, we don't want to, to make this kind of works, but you know, everything can happen and you need to fix it. You need to just smile and go ahead. Nothing can stop us. This is why we, we start this project. This is what we want to do, an inspiration for other people. We wanted to stay in the US just for one day. Everything changed, so we stay here almost one week. Just with one t-shirt, one pullover, one jeans and one pair of shoes. This is a big, big challenge for me because I'm usually change my dress five times a day. This is a completely different life. Luckily, yesterday we could make a shower, take a yeah. shower. So that's good. I I can't wait to go to our back to Bowen Island to get some uh, uh, clean and fresh clothes and fresh clothes <laughs> and uh, have uh, another shower. It's okay. Mm -hmm.